The actions have continued to trail the decisions of the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria to increase the benchmark interest rates to 22.75% and a cash reserve ratio of banks to 45%, among the other policy decisions taken at the 293rd meeting of the committee. New Central's Perpetua Fasomi Peter examines stakeholders' reactions in this report. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, has expressed concerns about the Central Bank of Nigeria's recent interest rate hike, the fifth in a row. Although it acknowledged the CBN's intent to control inflation, the LCCI questioned the effectiveness of this monetary policy tool in addressing inflation in Nigeria. Many economists and business membership organizations like CPPE have also faulted the rate hike However, financial market players and analysts appear to hold a contrasting view. I, I just wasn't certain that uh, the new uh, CBN governor would have the stomach for a larger rate hike, which I did believe was necessary. So I'm actually very pleased to see that he went with a more uh, aggressive stance. The MPC also tried to restrict money supply by increasing banks' cash reserve ratio to 45%, while there were concerns that this upward review could impact the sector's financial intermediation role, some capital market players beg to defer. My prediction for yesterday was uh, 500 basis points, uh, thinking that, um, that the, the central bank may be more hawkish, and also maybe they will actually uh, um, align with the expectation of foreign investors as well. So there's a hierarchy of, of priorities here. Uh, and inflation kind of goes to the top. And the best tool for tamping down inflation is raising the monetary policy rate at the central bank. Um, and, and, you know, not far behind that would be uh, raising the cash reserve ratio to, to limit liquidity. For now, I think we just need to take the painful medicine. We need to do what we need to do. There is no doubt that a hike in interest rate could signal a real return on investment for investors. However, striking a balance between attracting foreign investors and creating a conducive environment for local businesses to thrive has become imperative. When you start talking about growth, you have to put that onto the table of, uh, of the fiscal policy guy. And even while monetary policy you know, has gone ultra hawkish, you can still, on the, on the fiscal policy side, take steps to alleviate the burden and the, the impact, at least on the most vulnerable. And that's certainly what I expect uh, that's new administration to do. As Nigeria deals with inflation and economic uncertainty, it is hoped that these measures will yield the desired results sooner rather than later. In Lagos, for News Central, Perpetua Fasami Peter.